Well, here we are in the Sofitel in Brisbane. I stayed here many years ago when it was still the Sheraton. It was a very convenient hotel back then because it was directly above Brisbane Central Station. It still is, so that's pretty handy. It's actually still pretty nice. They've glammed it up a little bit, and as we have a look around, it actually manages to address most of the things I like to whinge about in hotels. So if we come into the bathroom, it's a decent, if not spectacular size. We've got the usual facilities, shower, bath, so forth. A couple of notable things. The first one is you've got an actual real standard plug in the sink. And I point that out because in most places you have one of those ridiculous things that makes the water go worse, so that's quite nice. In a nice little tribute to the ongoing water crisis in Queensland, we've got this sign here telling us that we've really got to be careful with water because Br Brisbane's having its worst drought in 100 years. So that's something I can get behind. And you'll notice that I haven't bothered you know, doing anything with my towel. I've told them they can leave it here to keep clean. Interestingly, the cleaner didn't even bother folding it up neatly. So clearly they just thought, no, I don't want to touch his mangy old towel and well fair enough probably okay we're not stuck with my favorite complaint the thing that you need to get the power to work so that's all pretty good we come out here we've got again you know decent sized bed proper alarm clock over there in the corner very good sized desk one of the best desks i've seen in a while plenty of room for me to spread out all my rubbish bit of in-room broadband so that's always kind of handy nothing too spectacular going on on the view front if we sneak in behind here we can see that we sort of look out towards the back of the hotel and to somebody else's rooftop terrace basically but you know it could be worse um very little as i said really to complain about here at all so far apart from when i showed up they thought i was staying for twice as many nights but not my money paying for it so i can live with that pleased to see that today they actually refilled my minibar menu. That wasn't there yesterday, so while I didn't have the minibar because it's always a rip-off, I didn't know how badly they get ripped off. Now I do, and it's even more incentive to stay away. But as I said, quite happy to stay here, and any time anyone else wants to put me up here, probably quite acceptable, and given the proximity to the train station, always going to be one of my preferred picks when staying in the heart of Brisbane on someone else's money.